Dennis Rodman. The name conjures up images of neon hair, outrageous wrestling appearances, and a fierce competitiveness that bordered on obsession. But beneath the flamboyant facade lies a basketball savant, a relentless rebounder who defied expectations and carved his own path to greatness. This video delves into the extraordinary life and career of Dennis Rodman. We'll explore his journey from a rejected high school player to a champion, his unparalleled rebounding dominance, and his unique contribution to multiple championship teams. We'll also navigate the controversies that swirled around him and discover why, despite it all, he remains an unforgettable figure in NBA history. With his ninth rebound, firing down, John the Deccan driving on McLeod to the hole, no, tapped in and a slam, though, by Dennis Rodman. Humble beginnings, the birth of the worm. Dennis Keith Rodman was born in 1961 in Trenton, New Jersey. His childhood was marked by instability. His father abandoned the family when Dennis was just three, leaving his mother to raise him and his two sisters on a shoestring budget. Basketball wasn't initially on Rodman's radar. He was shy and introverted and famously got cut from his high school team four times. Being cut from the high school team four times, that should have ended my basketball career. But it pissed me off. It lit a fire under me. And that's the reason I made it. This experience sparked a fire within Rodman. He poured his energy into honing his basketball skills, focusing on an often overlooked aspect of the game, rebounding. After a growth spurt in his late teens, Rodman finally earned a spot on his junior college team. His relentless work ethic and focus on rebounding caught the eye of Southeastern Oklahoma State University, where he blossomed into a dominant rebounder. He earned the nickname, The Worm for his slithering ability to slither through opponents and snatch rebounds. From cast off to champion, the Detroit Pistons. Despite his college success, Rodman was drafted late in the second round by the Detroit Pistons in 1986. He wasn't seen as a star, but his rebounding prowess and defensive tenacity were a perfect fit for the Pistons' bad boys era. Rodman embraced his role as the enforcer using his physicality and unconventional tactics to disrupt opponents and secure rebounds. I wasn't there to score points. I was there to take care of the dirty work, the rebounds, and the defense. Playing alongside legends like Isaiah Thomas and Bad Boys coach Chuck Daly, Rodman thrived. He won his first NBA championship in 1989 and established himself as the league's premier rebounder. The Missing Piece, Rodman and the Chicago Bulls Dynasty. While some questioned the fit, Rodman surprised many. He embraced his role as a complementary player, focusing on rebounding and defense, allowing Jordan and Pippen to shine offensively. His understanding of the game and ability to guard bigger players freed them up to focus on scoring. The gamble paid off. The Bulls went on to win two three-peats, 1996-1998, further solidifying Rodman's legacy as a champion. You going wrestling tomorrow? I'm not wrestling tomorrow. I'm going to go out and have a, have a good time. The rebound master. Unmatched domination on the boards. Dennis Rodman's statistical dominance on the boards is staggering. He won a record seven consecutive NBA rebounding titles, 1992-1998, a feat that speaks volumes about his dedication and focus. Standing at just 6'7", Rodman wasn't the tallest player, but his anticipation, relentless hustle, and understanding of rebounding angles made him a force to be reckoned with. Rebounding is a mentality. You gotta want that rebound more than the other guy. Statistical breakdown. Include visuals highlighting Rodman's rebounding titles, career rebounds per game average, and a comparison to other rebounding greats. Barkley says he wants the rebounding title this year. Is that a factor for you? No, that's not no fun. I do my job. I get paid to do one thing. That's rebound and kick people's ass. A farewell tour of controversy and antics. After his stint with the Bulls, Rodman bounced around the league, playing for the San Antonio Spurs, Los Angeles Lakers, and Dallas Mavericks. His on-court contributions remained valuable, but the controversies continued. He headbutted a referee, announced his retirement mid-season, 
and even wrestled in North Korea. And his partner, the undisputed NWO, The Mental Game, Rodman's Inner Drive. Dennis Rodman's relentless pursuit of rebounds wasn't just about physical prowess. It stemmed from a powerful mental game. He cultivated an almost obsessive focus on securing the ball, fueled by a desire to prove himself and silence his doubters. His childhood experiences, the rejections, and being labeled unconventional fueled a fire within him. I wasn't the most talented player, but I outworked everybody. Nobody out-hustled me. The controversial champion, beyond the rebounds, beyond the court, the fashion icon. Dennis Rodman was never one to shy away from the spotlight and often courted controversy. His flamboyant hairstyles, off-court antics like wrestling appearances, and unpredictable behavior made him a constant headline. Well, now watch right. See, there's a cheap shot. That should be automatic. That's right, George. Yeah, I, hey, I, I give it to you. He feuded with teammates and coaches, and his late-night partying habits raised eyebrows. Rodman's influence extends beyond basketball. He challenged social norms with his flamboyant personality and defied expectations of athletes. He opened the door for athletes to express themselves more freely. Dennis Rodman wasn't afraid to push boundaries, and this extended beyond his on-court antics. He became a fashion icon, defying traditional notions of masculinity with his brightly colored hair, piercings, and gender-bending outfits. He collaborated with designers, appeared on magazine covers, and challenged gender stereotypes in the hyper-masculine world of sports. I don't live my life to please other people. I live my life for me. Rodman's place in history, the legacy. Dennis Rodman retired in 2000, leaving behind a legacy unlike any other. He's a champion, a rebounding icon, and a pop culture phenomenon. He redefined the role of a specialist player and proved that unconventional approaches could lead to greatness. Love him or hate him, there's no denying his impact on the game. Dennis Rodman is a complex figure, a walking contradiction. He's a champion, a rebounding genius, and a controversial personality. His journey from a rejected high school player to a multiple-time champion is an inspiring story of resilience and dedication. While his off-court antics may overshadow his basketball achievements for some, there's no denying his unique place in NBA history. I don't want to be compared to Michael Jordan. I'm Dennis Rodman. I'm one of a kind. Rodman developed mental strategies to anticipate rebounds, visualize plays before they unfolded, and outmaneuver opponents for the ball. He understood positioning, angles, and the psychology of his competitors. This mental toughness became a key element of his success. Dennis Rodman, a champion, a rebel, a rebounding genius, and a fashion icon. He defied expectations, dominated the boards, and left an indelible mark on the NBA. Whether you see him as a champion or a controversial figure, there's no denying his unique place in basketball history. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the enigma that is Dennis Rodman, hit that subscribe button for more explorations of fascinating basketball personalities. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Who else would you like to see us explore next? See you soon.